use my garden pie to plant the red blossom seed, I need to start catching some regular jadinkos, or common jadinkos. That should allow me to catch them. Yes, attracting common jadinkos. Awesome. Let's get a ton of herblore, I mean, ah, herblore, hunter XP. I think they should be popping, popping up any second now. There they are. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Oh, that's 71, uh, hunter. <laughs> so yeah, I'm... I'm still here at the Herbora Habitat. It's, not, it's probably not as fast as uh, red salamanders, but I am getting all these seeds and whatnot. Like, I got a, I got a wishing well seed, <laughs> like, really early, which is apparently, like, super lucky. But uh, I'm still probably going to stay here, and then at 74 Hunter, I'll probably change to Igneous Jadinkos, which are probably a lot faster. But, um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I should stay here till 74. I might, might go back to red salamanders. Who knows? But, uh getting hunter up at least ah, I bought my demon butler but now I just have to convert like all of my like 900 oak planks into I mean oak logs into planks which is gonna take a while but yeah I need like 57 construction to make a like a abandoned house thingy in herbler habitat to, to hunt certain jadinkos and stuff so gonna be do doing a bunch of construction now which should be fun and expensive my cash stack is just gonna disappear. <laughs> is it just me or is the demon butler faster than he used to be? <laughs> I can't keep up with him anymore. I thought I... Uh, I think I actually used just the normal butler for the longest time actually, so... Might be biased there, but yeah, this is really fast. <laughs> and now that I have a butler and whatnot to do construction, shouldn't take that long to uh, get to the 57. Just gonna add a few more of these to the statue. I think all that's left is agility and smithing. Yeah, so almost done with my second statue, which is pretty cool. Wait for it. There it is. What is that? What's that screen shaky thing up and down like that? Is <laughs> that like Jagex accusing me of botting or something? It, 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 it happened to me when I was doing uh, red salamanders too. And I'm like, what's going on? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not botting, Jagex. I... What's happening? I assume it's just some kind of bug. Because it probably goes away with... Yeah, there it is. <laughs> if I log out. I'm not sure how well you can see it on the video, but yeah, I'll probably just re-log. Hopefully it stops. Still happening after I re-logged and everything. I guess I'll have to deal with it, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, that goes up and down and it seems really intentional by whoever's controlling the game but why well a giant chinchampa hole thingy showed up <laughs> like right next to my jetinko spot so i guess i'm doing this real quick all right apparently got like a thousand thirty six reward points from that one game pretty good so i can buy a bunch of hunter xp or i can buy some flax or swamp tar actually would be probably something good because I'll want that for ammo to shoot from a uh, salamander maybe but it also costs a lot of herbs so I'm not sure if I want to use that as a ranged weapon or not but yeah that was a pretty good game got lots of hunter xp and uh, I'm tempted to yeah, give me this one. <laughs> give me the uh, hunter xp should be like 5k there we go and that should oh <laughs> I just catch one more jadinko and I got 72 hunters so that's pretty sweet awesome minigame Back to doing Jadinkos. Alright, 73 Hunter. I'm not getting these levels as fast as I'd like to, but I'm almost to the Igneous Jadinkos. Just one more level. And uh, I'm going to call it a day here and come back tomorrow for probably more Hunter and junk. Alright, 74 Hunter. You kind of missed it there, but uh, I can now catch the Igneous Jadinko. Ew, Ninja Implings as well. Not bad. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to take a break from Hunter right now because I need an AFK, uh, some, like, fire making so I can do some homework and studying and whatnot. But, um, yeah, next time I come back here, I'll be catching the Igneous Jedinkos, I think. Like, there might be some plant I need to plant that I don't have the farming level to, to do or something. That might be annoying, but, um, I can finally put this inventory slot back there. I had it there so it's easier to use the traps. All right. Let's uh, do some fire making. 
Okay, yeah, to catch an igneous jadinko, I need 61 farming to plant a lurgberry seed. I have this, I have tons of those seeds, but I'm gonna need to do even more farming, but I've got lots of uh, fruit tree seeds from the jadinkos, which should help hopefully give me a nice boost in farming XP for now, and I guess I'll just keep farming over and over again. <laughs> this hunter and farming and herbal habitat, I should probably just go back to red salamanders. Alright, 60 smithing, pretty cool I guess, but doesn't really unlock anything useful I don't think. Uh, jeez, a lot of stuff. Ooh, Argonite Dagger. Eh, I already made those with the potion, so whatever. But yeah, I'm still AFKing for stuff, so after I'm done AFKing, I'll probably go back to Hunter and Farming. Well, Farming first, yeah. Farming and Herbler. Alright, this will be the first uh, time I finish floor 40, which is pretty cool, I guess. Didn't do the whole floor, so did not get much XP for that. See, I only got plus 6% on bonus rooms. It's kind of weak, but uh, whatever. I did let floor 40, so that means I'm like, oh, so close to 80 dungeon dungeoneering. But I'm uh, probably not going to get a Chaotic Staff anytime soon. Well, pro maybe next week, actually. Um, probably. I'll probably like train my mage at like uh, the... The fungal mages, or whatever they're called, because yeah, lots of her herb drops, which I need to get my herb lore up with. So, yeah, if I'm gonna train mage, no, nah, nah, I got an FK, <laughs> so I'm gonna go probably chop wood or something, and uh, come back tomorrow for s something else. <laughs> uh, all my plans have disintegrated, and I'm just doing random stuff at this point. Oh well. <laughs> I'm just chopping a bunch of oaks to uh, use in construction. I'm gonna need a ton of them for uh, making, you know, gilded altar and all that nonsense. It's gonna cost a fortune as well. I might want to go back to maybe like steel dragons, which are pretty good uh, for alcables and whatnot, so I can get some cash for construction and maybe a spare rune hatchet, hopefully. So, oh yeah, and mage XP as well is not bad. So yeah, um, this weekend I'll probably do another quest palooza, uh, kind of at least. I'll, I'll be wanting to focus on questing this weekend for some reason. Um, I really want that herb lore for uh, Fire Tail Part Two, though. I might, I could boost it with like a stew or something, but eh, since I'm getting herb lore up anyway later, I kind of feel like I should just get it out of the way now, so I don't have to boost. But eh, I want to get Fairy Tail Part Two out of the way because after I do Fairy Fairy Tail Part Two, I can instantly do. Uh, fairy Tale Part 3, which gives me an infinite watering can, and I don't have to use dr the Dramon Staff to go through fairy rings. So, yeah, I just need to get this stupid herb lord lever out of the way, and I can get all that unlocked. So, yeah, this weekend, doing a ton of quests again. I think someone got lost. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> He's just walking around, looking looking at all the Jadinkos or something. Well, there probably isn't any Jadinkos there for him. He's just, he's like watching them get caught in the trap magically. Poor guy. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this, and with doing this keeps getting me these uh, fruit tree seeds, which I'll I desperately need for farming XP. Cause yeah, farming past level 50, like where I'm at, is really annoying, and the the, the uh, allotment stuff just isn't doing it anymore. So I'm trying. I'm doing a bunch of tree runs constantly. I think you can see. Yeah, there's an orange tree growing over there. I'm keeping an eye on it, make sure it doesn't die. But, uh, yeah, this, this hunter is, is a lot slower than I thought it would be. Yeah, well, I guess I'm getting distracted a lot nowadays, so... Not exactly training it as efficiently as possible, but... Yeah, it's gonna take a long time to get to 83, and then also well, the uh, 60... And, uh, and it'll get, take a long time to get 61 farming. Well, even, I guess, 58, because I can just use a garden pie to plant what I need to catch igneous jetinkos. So... Uh, <laughs> For now, I guess I'm just doing this and then doing dailies, because dailies can get me some herbal XP. Um, but yeah, it's going to be not much to record over the next couple of days. But the weekend, though, that's going to be big Questapalooza V2, which is going to be so actually some good bits of this episode. Yay! Well, I think I'm going to call it a day here. Didn't really record much today, did I? <laughs> Ugh. I'm recording less and less because this goal is just taking forever and there's nothing interesting to record, so... Yep. Oh, well, got to 75, Hunter, I guess, today. <laughs> Ugh. 
I'll try to play more tomorrow, but I'll probably not because I'm super lazy right now for whatever reason. Anyway, ugh, let's keep on doing Hunter for like the rest of the week until Quest of Palooza. Yay! Alright, this is day four, like the day right before Quest of Palooza again. It's gonna be ridiculous. Anyway, let's. I got a daily challenge for making macaw pouches. So there we go. I only needed to make ten for the for the uh, <laughs> challenge, but there we go. Forty-three something from just the uh, thingy. Whoa, that's a lot of. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, that's because of the cockatrice, saratrice, pengatrice. The hell. Anyway, let's turn in this challenge. See how many levels I get. All right, seven k. That's it. It's only one level. That's pretty weak for a daily challenge. Me. I know it's only ten macaw pouches, but still, it's a daily challenge, man. I thought these were OP. Wow, I'm lagging like crazy. Like, I disconnected just a few seconds ago, and now I'm disconnecting again. This is ridiculous. What's going on? Is it my internet, or is it Jagex? I have no ideas. Ugh, I drive me nuts. All right, I can do some agility, because why not? And, so, and a lot of quests tend to uh, like to require agility levels, so I'll probably just hang out here for a while and get my agility up. All right, now doing uh, Werewolf Skull Ball, because I think it's a lot faster than stupid uh, Barbarian course, especially with the, uh, yeah, bet the best route and whatnot. So yeah, so I get like about 750 XP per uh, run through, and it's nice and uh, it, it's only about two and a half minutes. So yeah, it's pretty good XP. So I'll probably be doing this until eh, I don't feel like agility anymore. Which might be sooner than I think, so to keep doing skull ball. All right, so apparently I got a use short bows fletching daily challenge. I'm keep, keep I keep getting these fletching daily challenges. I don't need anymore. I have the fletching level I'll prob probably like ever want uh, for now because like it, I need like 80 <laughs> for magic short bows, which is the next bow that I need to craft for for myself. I think so. This is kind of it's going to be really tedious to have to chop down 300 u logs and then. Fletch them, but I guess I'm doing this. <sighs> oh, finally, this is afternoon on Friday. I'm supposed to be doing Quest of Palooza, and I finally finished the stupid U short bows task. 60k fletching XP gets me two levels. Nice. Well, I was like just a little bit off of level 66, so I basically got that entire level off of that challenge. And uh, thigh got thigh got stuff. Eh, meh. I already have a thigh get wand, so I don't have to get that last level to get that. But anyway, let's. Uh, I'm gonna quickly, quickly get uh, 60 mining for no reason, and then start Quest of Palooza with a first. <laughs> That's a lot of mage logs. Pretty nice, but uh, I'm gonna do as a first resort first, because that's the first on the list, alphabet alphabetically. But yeah, I'm looking to get a lot of these quests done. And a lot of quests that are unlocked by these quests done, especially cabin favor. I don't do. I want to do cabin favor so I can get a black mask drop from the cave horrors, so I can make a slayer helm when I get the slayer ta slayer points to do so, so I can make a slayer helm for killing Ab Abbey specters, because those are apparently like super OP for Iron Man. It's got the noted herb herb drops and a bunch of rune drops for for Elking, so definitely going to try to get slayer helm slayer helm like soon. So. Let's uh, get 60 mining and then start Quest of Palooza. All right, it should be 60 mining. Not sure why I wanted to get that. Just kind of wanted it to match up with my smithing. But uh, let's go do. Well, let's just start Quest of Palooza finally. Where do we go? There we go. There we go. As a first resort done. Tons of XP. Any levels? From if I were making level, oh well. That 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 quest was so tedious. Ugh, I had to collect so much crap and it's just terrible. Anyway, let's move on to, I think it's Broken Home next, which is the new quest. Newest as of date, but I don't think I need anything. And, uh, yeah, it's next, so, let go! Ugh, Broken Home done. It's a lot of stuff. Ah, is this a decent ring? Probably. Alright, let's put this on her blower. Come on, give me a level no. <laughs> And this I'll put on Herblore as well. I just want to get this up so I can do Fairy Tale Part 2. Ugh, using any means necessary. Anyway, moving on to the next quest, which is... Uh, cabin Fever. Sweet, I can unlock the uh, Cave Horrors finally, so let go. K 
cabin fever done. That's a lot of XP. Any levels? Agility. Nice. All right. On to the next. On to the next quest. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Got a recipe for death for disaster requirement. That's nice. Uh, da -da -da. Next, it's the chosen commander. All right. Lego. Woo. Okay. That's the chosen commander done. Quite a lengthy one, but look at all that XP. 20k agility, strength, and thieving. How many levels am I gonna get? Two agility levels. Awesome. 50 agility. And, ooh, 59 thieving, 61 strength, not bad. So yeah, pretty nice quest. Chosen commander, done. Next up, uh, can't do fairy tale part two yet. <laughs> so I'm still waiting on that observatory quest. I still haven't done that. Eh, uh, my, and then there's regicide, which is like, oh boy. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's do something. <laughs> not sure. Alright, glorious memories done, lots of XP, give me that herb lore level, awesome. One more and then I can just sip a green man's ale to do fairy tale part two, so... Ooh, super strength, actually that's uh, nice. Um, I think I have some quorms and limp roots to use, and that might actually get me to uh, 56 if I use all of them, because I got uh, tons of stuff to use for herb lore. Alright, now I can use this tomb as well. Give me some ranged XP, because ranged is really annoying to get up right now. Boom, that's 54 ranged. Uh, okay, probably not going to get another level. Yeah, not quite, but close. Awesome. Good quest rewards. Glad I'm doing this um, in Pyre Need. I guess, maybe? Yeah, this is a bit random, but I'm getting the scroll of cleansing, so now I can save some potion ingredients occasionally. See if I save... Yep, I saved the first one. Nice. There's also a construction one, which I might want to get later, but I'm not sure if I want to get that or a, ca a chaotic, chaotic staff first. So I'm going to keep... Uh, I, I got one inventory of these uh, saber kebit teeth dust thingies that I'll brew into potions, and that might actually give me the level. I think it will. Yeah, it'll give me the level, and then I can do fairy tale part two, finally. And then I'll also be able to do fairy tale part two, like, right afterwards. So awesome! And these hunter potions, I need... Um, I'm only going to get 80 Hunter to catch the Dragon Implings, because I can just pot up. And since I re-log, like, pretty much less than a minute after I go into a world... Oh, wow, I got a vengeance, Vengeful Kite Shield drop, grats. But, um, yeah, since I log in and out so fast, uh, catching Implings in the, uh, resource dungeon, that, uh, should... These potions should last really long, so... Yeah, finally a fairy tale quest. Alright, Fairy Tale Part 2 done, finally. Give me some of that herb lore XP. I'm gonna do Fairy Tale Part 3 next. Well, now that, now that I don't really need herb lore anymore for quests, I think I'll probably start using my lamps on farming, because I need, like, 58 farming to catch so, some jet inko, so yeah, I'll put them on farming for now. Not sure what other skill I might want to use XP on, so whatever, let's do Fairy Tale Part 3. Alrighty then, that's Fairy Tale Part 3 done. That's a lot of rewards, including the magic watering can I don't have to use. Ugh, my watering can and refill it all the time. Uzanic. Don't remember her being there. But yeah, magic watering can, and I don't need the Dremen Staff like anymore <laughs> for like anything until. Do I use it in Lunar di Diplomacy for making us the Lunar Staff or something? I think so. But anyway. Fair, fairy tale part three done. That was a lot of XP. Didn't I get? No, I didn't get any levels. I got a magic level during the quest though. That was kind of cute. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for day one of Quest Palooza V2. Uh, I didn't do too many quests today. I was kind of busy, and I had had a U short bow task that I uh, had to do in the morning. But tomorrow I'm a little busy for a little bit, but I still should be able to do plenty of quests. And then Sunday, I'm gonna probably gonna go crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, spring on tomorrow's quests. All right, 58 farming and day two of Quest of Palooza. This means I can well, I can, I can plant Erzil, which is important. But um, I can boost up to 61, which means I can plant like a Lurg berry bush. So now I think I can. Uh, pretty much catch the Ignis Jedinkos when I go back to Hunter after the quest, quest of Palooza, so that's gonna be awesome. But uh, for now, I'm gonna do, I guess, Empire Need. 
Alright, that was super easy. Lots of XP. Any levels? No? Not a lot of XP. I guess all those skills are pretty high anyway, so... I just need one more level to get 1600 total, that's why I'm like, <laughs> do I get a level or not? Anyway, moving on. I'll probably do the observatory quest now. I've, I've had that going for a while now. I haven't just gotten around to doing it. There we go, observatory quest done. Pretty crappy reward, oh well. Let's move on to... Legends quest, really? <laughs> oh joy. Alright, got 57 prayer off of this uh, training or whatever after the quest. Uh, Legends quest. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. Boom. And that's the 1600 total. I think, can I get my second life now if I wanted it for 10 mil, which I'm not going to have anytime soon. And I probably won't want to spend it anytime soon because I'm not going to die anytime soon. And I don't need a second life if I haven't dead, died for the first time yet. Anyway, that's uh, Legends quest done. And uh, next up is Lunar Diplomacy. Sweet. Let's unlock Lunar Isle. Mm, there we go. Lunar Diplomacy done. That took forever. And, um, yeah. I can get my Lunar Spells. I think I can unlock the uh, Lunar Lodestone now. That'll be convenient. But for now, what's next? One small favor. Joy. Uh, it's gonna be painful, but oh well, it's next, so I guess I'll do it next. There we go, one small favor done. That was not as bad as I remember it, but it's uh, yeah, quite lengthy. I'll just stick these on. Actually, summoning, don't really need Herblorand uh, farming that much anymore. Give me those two summoning levels. Pretty awesome. Uh, actually, farming maybe. Eh, no, 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 yeah, Herblor, okay. I don't really care, okay. <laughs> Anyway, one small favor done. Next up is uh, the Path of Glofry, I think. So, might as well get that done. Uh, I guess one reason the one small favor isn't as bad as it used to be is the uh, run energy. Like, never runs out now. Pretty ridiculous. I'm, not, I'm, I'm only like 50 agility and I never run, almost never ran out of run energy in that quest. So yeah, moving on. Yeah, I took a break from questing to do a, a quick daily challenge for mining. Got two levels off of that, pretty awesome. Uh, it was a 14 mining urn challenge, so yeah, it took a long time, but now I think I can get, get back to questing, do maybe a couple more quests tonight, and then do uh, the majority of this quest of Palooza tomorrow because I was super busy yesterday and today. But let's uh, move on to next quest. Boom! Path of the Glofry done. 60k XP drop. That's a lot of strength XP. I'm sure I get a level, yeah. Give me that one Slayer level and one Strength level. Alright, Rum Pumped Crab, apparently. Definitely gonna kill those now, right? Ooh, clockwork Syringe, not quite all the skills required for that. But, uh, well, what's next? I think it's like Rat Catchers. Sweet, I think that was an easy, easy-ish quest. Let's uh, go ahead and do it. There we go, Rat Catchers done. Took longer than I thought I would. But, wow, Thieving level, <laughs> 60 Thieving, sweet. Random? Oh wow. Now I have all the levels for dealing with Scarabras. Uh, oh, don't tell me this. Ugh. <laughs> Might have to do that one next. Great. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, do more questing tomorrow. So far I've not done nearly as many quests as last Quest of Palooza, but that's just because last Quest of Palooza had all the noob quests in it. So I'm probably not gonna come near to the 55 quests I did um, uh, in the first quest of Palooza, but, you know, I'm doing a lot of these long and difficult quests, so, <laughs> quality over quantity? I don't know. Time for bed. Uh, <coughs> Alright, I'm gonna do, uh, dealing with Scarabras Nesk. Ne 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 next. And so I need, uh, ten gold items from... Uh, pyramid plunder so this ought to take a while but I'll get my thieving up which is always nice because it's a super fast skill and it's super low so yeah I could definitely probably do some thieving about now and I'm one level away from level 61 room which will be pretty cool and I'll get my gold items nice and easy gold seals aren't that rare at the higher level room so yeah and look at this poison damage like three <laughs> what does three even do it's like nothing anyway so just doing some pyramid plunder before I can do the next quest Want to know what's better than one completely luck-based mechanic in a quest? Three in a row! This is so ridiculous. Who made this room? 
Seriously, I hope they are fired by now, because this is ridiculous. This stupid, mysterious mechanism is absolutely ridiculous. I hate this so much. Alright, dealing with Scarabber has done. Tons of XP. And any levels? Yep. Agility uh, level. Alright, sweet. Ooh, Defender of Arak. Is that next instead of Rune Mechanics? No. <laughs> yeah, it's Rune Mechanics next, so... Yeah, let's do this real quick. Okay, rune mechanics done. There's a decent amount of XP for the time that took, but uh, blah blah blah. blah. I, w I don't want a guardian. Useless. All right. Uh, next one. Wait, isn't that? Do I use a rune guardian in some quest somewhere? I don't know. Uh, Shadow of the storm next. Guess so. Shadow of the storm done. I got dark light now. Pretty sure it's a bit better than uh, <laughs> silver light. 10k ranged XP. That's what I chose. All right. Give me that level. Sweet. <clears throat> 55. Apparently gives me a lot of stuff. Probably not going to be able to use any of this. And the gravite shortbow is tempting, but no. Saving up for a chaotic staff. Not going to buy a gravite shortbow. Anyway, move on, moving on to the next quest. Sheep herder. Oh, joy. Sheep herder done. Nice and easy. Didn't take that long at all. All right. Let's do a soul's bane, I think, is next. Oh, look at that. All the quests that I can do right now <laughs> uh, fit on here's with that. I don't have to scroll down anymore except when I take off that filter I get depressed. <laughs> oh well, yes it's time for a soul's bane. Man, this quest is old. Look at all these the faces. The like two dimensional ground. Wonder when they're gonna wonder when they're gonna update this. Quest complete. Like barely any XP at all. And what's next? Spirit of Summer? Oh, joy. Alright, Spirit of Summer done. I think I can go on to Summer's End now. Ooh, level. Nice. Wait, am I in the wilderness? No, no, I'm in the south. Okay. <laughs> I was scared there for a second. Alright, so sweet. Ooh, prayer level 2 as well. Nice. Uh, anything new from construction? Oh, yeah, I need construction XP too, because I'm trying to get to a, like, 59 construction so I can make something, something for the Jidingos or whatever. But can I do Summer's End? I think so. Alright, let's do that one now then. Boom! Summer's End done. Oh, that's so much XP. Awesome. Any levels? No. Wow. Really expected a level from that. Oh <laughs> well. Nice chunk of prayer XP I know. So, nice! <laughs> that was a really sketchy quest. I used a lot of food. Thought I wouldn't use too much, but was a spirit shield? Level 1? Oh, that's crap. Whatever. Wait, is it level 1? No, it's level 40. That was prayer bonus one. Okay, so it's not that horrible. But anyway, that's Summer's End done. And uh, next quest I'll probably do is Spirit of the Elid, maybe? Or maybe Regicide. I don't know. You'll see. Alright, Troll Stronghold done. I had to do that because I had a daily challenge for killing um, Sardoman followers, which was really a hassle. But anyway, this is a pretty rewarding quest. Nice and quick to do. Uh, give me that summoning XP. <laughs> Might as well be putting stuff on summoning now. Give me that. Two levels? Nice. Do I get another level up of this? Yeah, there we go. Uh, is that my low lowest skill still? Huh, wow, as soon as I get that up one more level, I'll be able to have, make a 50s cape. Probably won't do, because that's a hassle. <laughs> anyway, probably gonna... Am I gonna do another quest? Maybe. Edgar's Ruse. That's tempting. Yeah, okay, I'll do another quest, and then probably call it the end of the quest to Palooza any, any quest now, because, ugh, it's getting late Sunday night. Anyway, let's uh, do another quest. There we go. That's done, and 11k Herblore XP. Not bad at all. Give me that level 57 uh, Magic Essence Shengu. Not bad. Gatherer's Potion. Awesome. All right, so should I do another quest? Eh, why not? Let's do, like, one more quest, and then call it a night and a week. All right, one last quest. All right, Dream Mentor done. That was stupidly easy. <laughs> the quest bosses are obviously a lot easier after EOC, like spit easy. I didn't eat any food at all. I barely got hurt. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's stick this on ranged, because that's where I always put uh, XP lamps and whatnot, because it's my lowest level. Okay, and I think I'll call that a uh, quest of Palooza and a week. And I'll come back next week for a lot of skill grinding, because I need to get my Slayer up to get some Slayer points, get my Slayer helmet, 
and whatnot, so I can kill Abby Spectres for noted herbs, and of course ca cash, because I'm like super low on cash, and I need to keep my kingdom up and running. So that's going to be the goal, at least the early goal of the next week. Hopefully I can get my AD Hunter as well, so I'm going to finally catch the stupid Dragon Implings. But for now, I guess that's it for this episode, and I'll see you next week! Thank you.